Hello everyone, welcome back. So in this video, I'm going to go through the process of creating a BlueJeans add-in package. It's the um, Microsoft Outlook add-in. So the BlueJeans, I'm going to need to download the uh, the deployment versions of BlueJeans add-in. So what I need to do is go into Google Chrome and type in blue jeans outlook add-in support deployment so I just click on the very top one you want to download the MSI versions don't download the per users version make sure you download the per machine versions we just click on it Thing it has been downloaded let's see yeah that's about the right size all right like it has been downloaded I'm going to copy this to my share to my network share it's under blue jeans paste I want to copy this so it's blue jean I look at in 4.3. Let's go to the SCCM console. I want to go to software library and then application management. I want to go to applications, right click, create application. I want to browse to the MSI. I'm going to paste that, hit browse takes me to blue jeans add in click on the MSI click next next so this is the name of the package um, I'm gonna call it blue jeans I look at in version 4.3 I want to make sure the command line is quiet. Install for system. So far, look good. I w the publisher, you can just add whatever who made the vendor, um, the the vendor of the the vendor that make this um, software. I think it's called Blue Gene. This software versions, you can just put in 4.3. Optional references, administrative categories. I don't have any of that, so I just you don't have to create that. I click next, next. finish I want to click close now the package has been created I want to distribute it to the cunt to the DP sorry I went so fast um, let's right click on it and go to distribute content I'm going to choose the DP distribution point click OK click next next I'm going to deploy it as available. So deploy. Browse to the collection. I'm going to put in all system collection. Next. Next. Install available. Install available means it's going to available in the software center. Um, the user has to go in and install the package manually click next that's fine next that's fine 
next and next. Cool, all green. So it looks like it has been copied successfully to the DP. Let's go look at the verify that content status. View status. If I look under success, it's successfully distributed to the DP, the only DP I have. So that's it. Thank you for watching and have a good day.